I'm Sanders Parker. I'm with uh, Flying Squirrel Restaurant down on the south side in Chattanooga. Um, today, we're going to be cooking with the food bank using their emergency food box, which had a lot of fun goodies in it. And we're going to be making a pretty basic dish today. It's basically going to be a uh, tasty puree of black beans, as well as some Spanish rice, and then a lovely boneless pork chop with a mandarin orange pico. We're going to start the rice first. We've got our onion here. We're going to be using this onion for the rice as well as the beans. This, is a, this rice recipe is something that you'd find in a lot of Spanish restaurants. It's very classic. It uh, uses diced onion as well as a little bit of garlic and, of course, uh, rice. And then the thing that makes it a little bit special is that it's got a um, little bit of chicken stock as well as tomato paste. So once you've got your onion chopped, you're going to start heating your, your pan. We've got a, a large cast iron Dutch oven here, which is awesome for cooking rice or a lot of other things. So we've got our onion here. We're going to put a little bit of oil in this pan. All right. Let those guys get going. I'm also going to put a little pinch of salt. So we've got one clove of garlic for the rice, and then we've got one clove for the beans that we're about to do. We've got our onions going, we've got our garlic going. Now we're going to add our rice. Pretty much any rice you have around will work just fine. So we're going to toss that in with the onion, with the garlic, and the oil. And we're going to kind of stir it around until that rice starts to get a little bit fragrant. Once you start to smell the rice, it'll smell almost a little bit nutty. That's when you know you're in a good spot. But basically what we're trying to do is uh, just toast this just a little bit. After about two minutes, it should be ready to go. So while that's going, we're going to go ahead and get our onion ready for our black beans. So at this point, we're going to add chicken stock. This is two cups, and I'm about to add a little bit more. And then a little bit of tomato paste here. And this is about a heaping tablespoon of this. And we're going to stir this until it's all nice and incorporated. And then we're going to add salt because food doesn't taste good without salt. And then I've got just a sprig of cilantro I'm just going to toss in there as well. Give it a little nice fragrance. OK, cilantro's in. We're going to turn this up till it comes to a boil. And then once it starts boiling, we're going to set it on low and let it kind of do its thing. All right, back at a boil here. So I'm going to turn this down to where it'll simmer. All right, so now for the beans. Um, so we've got our chopped onion, we've got our chopped garlic, <clears throat> we've got a little bit of cumin here, and a little bit of bay leaf, and then of course our, uh, our black beans here. So onion and garlic in, salt, a little bit of black pepper, and with this we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of uh, cumin as well. We're going to add it right on top of the onions directly in the pan, it's going to allow this spice to toast a little bit, and it's going to really bring out that flavor of the cumin. Black beans in. Now that everything's incorporated here, we're going to use our friend Mr. Chicken Stock again. This is just going to give it a little bit of liquid. So once the liquid's in, we're going to add a bay leaf because bay leaf makes everything taste a little bit better. Normally with bay leaf, you'd want it to hang out for a while, but this is going to be on for just a few minutes, so it's going to help a little bit, but it's not going to you know, make or break the dish. So if you don't have bay leaf, don't sweat it. All right, while that's going, we're going to check in on our rice here. It's looking good. We can go ahead and start our pico. So we've got a little cilantro here. We've got our mandarin oranges out of our food box. A little bit of lime. So with the cilantro, I'm just going to give that a quick chop into a small mixing bowl. We're going to grab our mandarin oranges here. And we're going to throw you know, kind of as many as you want. The sweetness of the mandarin is going to kind of offset all the other fattiness in the dish. I'm also going to use a little bit of this mandarin orange juice, for, or the liquid here, for a little bit of sweetness in here cherry tomatoes. We've got a little red radish here. I love radish. It's a little bit spicy. It's going to add that crunch. And once again, that kind of like bit of freshness is going to be that break from that pork. And then we've got a little bit of fresh jalapeno here, a little bit of lime juice in there. And then lastly, a little bit of a thinly sliced red onion. Now we're going to start it on the pork. I'm going to give it just a touch more salt. And then I'm going to go ahead and dress this with a little bit of cumin as well. And then we got a little bit of flour. A 
Okay, coat both sides in the flour, shake off the excess here. For searing this meat, we're gonna use a combination of butter as well as our canola oil. All right, a couple knobs of butter in there. So once the bubbling stops and you can smell that butter starts to be a little bit nutty, get your pork cutlet. It's a boneless pork chop here. I'm just gonna lay it down, always away from you. You don't wanna splash hot oil on yourself. And we'll let this go for about, eh, about two minutes on each side. All right, so first side is seared. You're looking for that nice browning there. The flour is gonna add a little bit of a crispy crust. Okay, so our pork's done. We're just gonna let that hang out for a minute and rest. So for the beans here, just throw the entire contents into our blender here. All right, so we got our black bean puree here. Go ahead and slice our pork here. Okay, and get my rice here. There's our pork, and then we're just gonna finish with our pico here. And that's it. And this is uh, Chattanooga Food Bank's uh, boneless pork chop with a little bit of Spanish rice, black bean puree, and then a mandarin pico.